all right guys so this video is uh, a video on calculation of the hydrostatic draft uh, for those of you who don't know what hydrostatic draft is hydrostatic draft is the draft used in the hydrostatic tables uh, what does hydrostatic tables look like uh, hydrostatic tables look like this so hydrostatic tables provide you with all the essential parameters such as displacement tpc mctc that you require for calculation of ship stability now this draft here that you see in the vertical column that's your hydrostatic draft now hydrostatic draft is the draft at the center of flotation this point here what is center of flotation well, when the ship is on even keel the center of uh, flotation uh, is the geometric center of the water plane area so let me start uh, by explaining uh, what the hydrostatic so the hydrostatic draft of a ship is the draft measured at the center of the flotation right and uh, the center of the flotation is the geometric center of the water plane area of the ship uh, it is the point about which the vessel would pivot when her trim is changed all right so what is the water plane area well you can see that the wl stands for water line so this here the black line here which now i will color with the blue line this denotes the water level all right uh, when the ship is on even keel and that means the ship's uh, a ship is uh, not listing or healing and it is on the same draft so you can see here that the center of the flotation coincides with the midship of the ship this is the center about which the ship starts to pivot so now for example if you look at the second drawing here if i load some cargo here on the aft side and i put some cargo here if i put some weight here the ship will trim by the stern that is the stern of the ship will go down and the head of the ship will come out all right in that case the center of the sh flotation shifts backwards it shifts backwards so the midship remains where it is denoted by h and uh, the center of the flotation's new position is here which is aft of the midships all right so hydrostatic draft in this case hydrostatic draft may be a little different from the midships draft which is the arithmetic mean of the forward and aft draft when the ship is not on even keel that is if when the ship may be down by the head when the head of the ship is down and the stern is out or down by the stern when the ship's stern is down and the head is uh, uh, head is uh, out of water and ship is down by the stern all right so we'll be learning how to calculate this draft here at the center of flotation which is the hydrostatic draft now the distance of the center of flotation may be measured from the aft perpendicular known as af or from the midships which is known as hf so you can see here when the center of flotation shifts from the midship this distance is called the hf and if i measure it from the aft perpendicular this is called the af this distance all right now if you don't know what forward and aft perpendiculars are aft perpendicular is a line just drawn ab uh, above of the rudder stock and this is where the water line coincides with the uh, the part of the ship which is just above of the rudder stock and similarly we have forward perpendicular forward perpendiculars are uh, drawn at the bow and this is where the water line intersects with the bow of the uh, ship or the profile of the ship bow of the profile so that is the forward perpendicular so if you measure the distance of the center of flotation from the aft perpendicular that distance is called af if it's measured from the midships it's called hf now if you want to calculate the correction to apply to the mean draft the mean draft is nothing but the arithmetic mean between the forward and the aft draft then you apply the formula hf multiplied by trim divided by length between perpendiculars so trim as you know is the difference of the drafts so if the aft draft is more than the forward draft the trim vessel is trimmed by head if the aft draft is more than the forward draft the vessel is trimmed by stern so that's the difference between the two drafts and this correction is positive this is a positive correction when the center of flotation is above midships that is it is behind midships and the vessel is trimmed by the stern and this correction would be negative if the vessel was trimmed by head all right uh, alternatively if center of rotation is forward of midships then the correction is given again by hf multiplied by trim by length divided by length between the perpendiculars of the ship and this correction is positive when hf and trim are same names that is if both the center of the flotation and the trim are, uh, so the, if the center of flotation is forward of midship and the trim is by the head 
or center of rotation is aft or midship and trim is by the stem so both are aft or both are forward and this collection is negative when hf and trim are different names so one may be forward and the other may be trimmed by stern or one may be uh, ahead of the above ship and the vessel is trimmed by stern or one is forward of above ship and the center of rotation is aft of the midship and the vessel is trimmed by head or something like that all right so this hydrostatic draft may also be applied by applying a correction to the or may also be correct apply, uh, obtained by applying a correction to the aft draft all right so it's uh, this correction is calculated by distance of the center of rotation from the aft perpendicular that is af multiplied by trim divided by length by perpendiculars uh, this correction is positive when trimmed by head and negative when the vessel is trimmed by stern now there are two ways you can find the hydrostatic draft one is by applying a correction to the midship draft which involves the correction of hf and one is by applying the correction to the aft draft which is the correction which involves af all right so let me show you by examples what i mean so let's take the first question here in the first question here a ship is floating at a draft of 4.9 meters forward and 6.3 meters aft length between the perpendiculars is 120 meters center of the flotation is 2 meters aft of the midship you have to calculate the hydrostatic draft so if you look at the drawing here and if you can draw it out the length between the forward and the aft perpendiculars is 120 meters right so that's the length between the perpendiculars so the length from the aft perpendicular to the midship will be about 60 meters right so if center of flotation is 2 meters aft of midship hf in this case becomes hf becomes 2 meters and af becomes 58 meters as you can see from the drawing so this part here becomes 58 meters right that's what is given here if the two drafts are given to you as forward draft and aft draft the mean draft is the arithmetic mean between the two drafts so arithmetic mean means you add the two and divide by two in this case your mean draft is 5.6 meters to calculate your trim just subtract one from the other whichever is the larger value will give you the value of the trim so in this case the aft draft is more so 6.3 minus 4.9 is 1.4 meters and the vessel is trimmed by stern because the aft draft is more if the forward draft was more the vessel would be trimmed by head so one of the ways you can find the hydrostatic draft is you can apply the correction to the main draft and that is when you use hf so hf by trim multiplied divided by lbp or length between perpendiculars hf is 2 meters trim is 1.4 as you can see from above and length by between perpendiculars was 120 you get a correction of 0 0.023 by the above rules if you are applying a correction to the mean draft if the vessel is trimmed by stern and f is forward of the mid aft of the midships the correction will be positive you have seen the rules that i have shown you above so vessel is trimmed by the stern and center of rotation was aft of midships the correction will be positive so you take the mean draft apply the correction a positive correction from here and you get your hydrostatic draft you can also find the hydrostatic draft by applying the correction to the uh, aft draft by uh, this formula here so you can apply it to the aft draft and you will get the same answer as i'll show you in the next numerical all right so let's take another numerical here and I'll show you how you get the same answers irrespective of whether you apply the correction to the mean draft or the aft draft. In this case, find the hydrostatic draft of a vessel when the forward draft and aft draft is given to you, the length between perpendicular is given to you and the position of the center of rotation is given to you. In this case, it's 3 meter aft of midships. So just like your previous question, draw the figure. Vessel is trimmed by head in this case because you can see the forward draft is more than the aft draft. So vessel is trimmed by head it's not trimmed by stern as in the previous case the vessel is down and that's what i'm trying to show here my drawings are not very good unfortunately but i'm trying to show here the vessel is down by head we call it down by head all right so length between perpendiculars is one to six meters that means length from half perpendicular to midship will be about 63 meters all right therefore from after perpendicular to center of rotation will be 60 meters because center of rotation is 3 meters aft of midships therefore if you have the two drafts given to you you found out the trim by head by multiplying by subtracting one drop from the other vessel is down by head 
the mean draft is the arithmetic mean of the two drafts in this case 6.8 plus 5 divided by 2 gives you 5.9 meters I can find the hydrostatic draft by applying the correction to either the half draft or the mean draft so if I apply the correction to the half draft I have to use the correction of AF multiplied by trim divided by length by perpendicular which in this case is 60 multiplied by 1.8 meters divided by 126 which is 0.857 however I have to consult the rules my rule says if the vessel is trimmed by head the correction is positive as you can see above if I go back above here and I show you you see this is the rule given here this is the rule I showed you all right so since the vessel is trimmed by head half draft is correction is positive so I will apply the correction to the half draft of 0.857 that I got from here and I get the hydrostatic draft of 5.857 I can also get the hydrostatic draft by applying the correction to the mean draft in this case if I apply the correction to the mean draft I will have to use the concept of HF multiplied by trim so 3 multiplied by 1.8 divided by the length between perpendicular which is 1 to 6 and I cut the correction 0.043 meters since the HF and the trim are of contrary names what does that mean that means is for F is aft of the midship and the vessel is trimmed by the head all right this should not be stern it should be trimmed by head all right or down by head the correction would be negative if the if the F was forward of midship and the vessel was down by head it would have been positive but in this case the F is aft of the midship and the vessel is down by head so correction becomes negative so we just subtract the correction and remember this is applied to the mean draft not to the half draft or mean draft and you get the same answer you can see from here 5.857 5 5.857 so irrespective of what you do you get the same answer all right so i hope these two examples were simple and easy for you to understand many students have also asked me to show them how to calculate the af so i have shown that here as well af is pretty straightforward pretty simple if there are any other questions you want me to solve or if there are unsolved questions you want me to solve please feel free to let me know you can send me the question details or you can send me the question numbers i'm happy to solve the questions for you thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing if you find this videos useful for learning i look forward to your feedback and uh, even if you have something uh, constructive feedback to give me uh, constructive criticism to give me please feel free to do so i'm happy to improve my videos uh, that can help you to learn all right, I'll see you soon with my next video, guys. All the best with your studies.